Welcome back, guys. Thanks so much for checking in on the episode two and for all that feedback. It is now still year one, day number two, and hour zero minutes 50 on our uh, contest here against the other Gopher Crafters, Piker Eyes, Gopher Boy, and Basket MC. I think what we're going to do is we are going to wait for this guy to come back to Kerbin, and then we will use what's left to get back into the atmosphere of Kerbin. So until then, let's try and do another rocket that is better designed as far as the, the engines involved in the staging. So this one, we're still gonna do the big tank and the little engine. And then this is gonna be very similar to the Science Dropper 4, but the Science Dropper 5 is going to be the greatest accomplishment of the Scotland scientist. I think that's what we are. I think we're Scotland. And then we're going to do decouplers again. There we go. And then we're going to want to put some more parachutes out here. But welcome back, guys. I super appreciate everybody following along for this GopherCraft Great Space Race. It's been a lot of fun so far, and I'm really looking forward to the end result. Um, I still have my reservations on whether or not I'm going to be able to actually make it to the MUN. I know you guys don't want to hear that, but uh, that's just the way it is. I have my own reservations about my abilities in this game, and we have just about reached the, the stopping point for uh, my abilities. Or the limit, I should say. Science Dropper 5! Booyah, and I think it's only right that Jebediah be the crewman for this mission. Jebediah. Good luck, son. You're going to need it. And a 3, 2, 1, Scotty go. Let's turn on, let's check out our resources here. Solid fuel. Yeah, these guys are spinning something fierce. and they're getting quite a bit of resistance. Last time we had so much resistance that they started to actually heat up just before they detached. Let's see if that happens again. But getting two, three thousand off, feet off the ground or meters off the ground. Oh, come on now, don't spin too much. I don't know that SAS is gonna help us here. I can try and fight this to a certain degree, but there we go. Can I can I resist this? There we go. All right. Trying to get us back where we want to be. Come on. It's so hard to control these when they have the solid rocket boosters on. As long as we're climbing, I'm going to roll with it cuz I can I can adjust how we're doing later. <laughs> Come on, keep climbing. Man, you suck. So we could get turned that way. Yeah, we've got a pretty screwed up orbit here. Come on. There we go. That wasn't pretty. That wasn't pretty at all. But, hey, what the heck? It's working, right? The moon is still... Which way is the moon headed, or the mun? Which way is the mun headed here? Let's see if we can reserve some of that fuel if I throttle down just a bit there.
And I gotta remember, I think there's a way that I can use the rotation of the Earth to slingshot me out towards the moon. I'm not sure. Exactly how that works. We're about to be through all this fuel here. We might actually end up with an encounter with the Mun here. I don't know. It's going to be weird. We might end up having two ships trying to get into an encounter with the Mun. I'm just going to not even start that engine yet. Now, if I try and get this guy, he's already... Sorry, we'll add, and then we will kill that maneuver. That's 117. Let's add a maneuver. We're just, we're just getting out into space and then going around in circles. We've essentially become the Russians here. I believe they loved getting into orbit during the actual space race. That's 120. That's see. That's that's no bueno. It'd be 110 and 273. So we got a minute and ten before we gotta start that burn. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, this is a much more powerful rocket, but it's also burning through the fuel. You know, I, sometimes I wonder is it six of one, half a dozen of the other? How are we doing here? Because this is gonna be just to get into orbit, and then all we're gonna have is that tiny little rocket. I think we are getting into a better orbit. Plus, we had all that resistance on the way up. We probably should have fired all those solid rocket boosters at once. All right, let's check our orbit here, see how we're doing. We can get rid of that. Our periapsis is 95. I think we're still going to be in a situation where that's going to be slowly reducing. I could be wrong. All right, guys. Well, let's see if... Uh, I don't even know what to do at this point. Probably not going to get much science here from anything. If we observe this, it's going to be like zero. You've done this. Yeah, we're just going to reset it as it is now. And uh, let's see if there's any way with this one engine that we have that we would be able to... Let's switch to this guy out here. How are we doing out here, Bill? Got a bunch of missions going on. You're way out here in space. Let's uh, set that as the target. So, is that... Our closest approach is going to be right there, it says. But it's going to be here. How much fuel do we have left? Nope, not that. Nope, we want to keep that target. Set that as the target. Let's try and do a maneuver here. How much? 78, it says we're going to have to burn. Let's try and get on that kind of a situation here. I believe we want to burn towards this little blue guy here. It's been working so far. Let's stay on target a little bit, and we'll speed things up here. Can we get 78.8 out of this little burner here yet and still have some fuel left? Let's find out together.
All right. So now our descending node it's going to get us a little bit closer to where the Mun is. We might actually be able to pull that off. All right. And let's unset that target. Let's go back to the Science Dropper 5. What can we do here, Jeb? We, are, we have a situation of boring, boring space missions. Not clearly defined space missions. What is that guy? That's no moon. That's a space station. That's the Mun. That'd be the Mun there. All right. Hmm. Let's go ahead and we'll just speed this mission up here a little bit. Thus speeding up all the missions. I say we wait till that. Apoapsis. And then we'll see if we can make a maneuver and how much fuel we've got left. All right, guys. Boy, that was a lot of maneuvering. 1262 is our... We've got an hour. Is that what it's saying? An hour? Now, wait a second. What about this guy? We just did some crazy maneuver to try and get back all of our stuff let's switch to this guy so he's not even gonna run into the moon the moon or whatever you know we're not even gonna do that like what's what's going on here all right what do I need to do to bring this guy home what kind of a maneuver is that 62 all right let's go ahead we'll bring this guy home we need his science we need all their science All right, you close that. All right, that's going to be way too steep. 60,000. That'll get us within the planet. All right. I think we've got that left in our tanks. One day? What are you talking about? Node in T-1 day. Good Lord, we have got a lot of time to burn here, guys. What about setting up a maneuver? There's, like, we don't have enough fuel, I don't think, to just head back. If we did retrograde right now. What kind of a burn is that? 316? All right. Can we pull that off? Man, 316, that's going to be tough. We're burning retrograde, and if we don't get this, we're going to be in a heap of trouble, guys. We got both these maneuvers pretty much happening at the same time, which also sucks. Can I pick? Oh yeah, let's pick a point that's closer. That's five minutes away. All right. I'm, I'm much more comfortable with that. All right, I am much more comfortable with that. We're five minutes away. It's a 262 burn. We might actually be able to pull that off. Whoa, God, we missed our window. Son of a gun. All right. Burn, baby, burn. It's going very quickly. I think we are actually in some kind of weird. We just flipped our orbit of some sort. All right. That's a 13903. All right. We got to get back to this other ship down here. The science dropper. 
Switch back to that. We've got a maneuver set up for this guy. It's still 10 minutes away. And what exactly was this maneuver again? This is where we might actually encounter the Mun? Is that what we're doing? Oh, and we're still at... No, this is just to kind of get our orbit straightened. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and we'll speed that puppy up a little bit. All right, we don't want to do like we did last time. And miss, <laughs> miss our window here. We're spending a lot of time in space with warped missions or time warped missions. All right. And we're on the target here. We're going to throttle up. And we are going to hit this right when we need to. Three, two, one. This is an exceptionally long burn, but we are trying to fix our orbit. And possibly get in contact with the Mun and do some missions in orbit of the Mun, and then also possibly return. And hopefully our other mission is safe and not gonna just crash into the planet anytime soon. I doubt it is, it's so far away that uh, it may likely, Bill may not return until we have landed on the Mun. <laughs> I hate to say it, but that may be the case. Again, thank you to everybody that's following along with this wonderful, great space race where Piker Eyes, Basket MC, and myself face off against each other. Come on now. We're about half, a little more than halfway done, and we burned a little less than half of our fuel. So we're going to need some fuel if we end up encountering the Mun to get in orbit and do some research at the Mun. So come on, come on, baby. Come on, come on, Jebediah. Do the rocket stuff. I am definitely out of my element at this part of the mission, or this part of the contest. I've gotten into orbit, done the whole orbit thing before, uh, interacting with other planetary bodies. Now that I have not done. All right, let's see what we have accomplished. Um, let's let's click on that guy. And get rid of that. So, as of right now, in one day and twenty-two hours, we are going to encounter the Mun. And it is going to send us on a rip-roaring, crazy, crazy wild experience. I say we keep that, even if it ends up meaning we don't win the contest, that we're going to speed up all the way through an entire almost two days. This guy is going to end up running into the planet, it looks like. And I don't know when that's going to happen. But I say we go ahead, we warp time... We watch both these ships to see when everybody's going to do their thing. All right, so the Mun encounter is going to happen sooner. And here he comes. Here here comes the Mun. Maybe the Mun's a lady. I don't know. All right, I want to see exactly what's going on here. So once we get near it, all right, all right, I want to slow down time here. And we want to do a maneuver like ASAP. Let's add a maneuver. Is there a way that we can get into orbit of the Mun? There. What do we? Okay. What's what's our time on that? 164. We can definitely do that. And then we'll have to do another maneuver to get back online so that we can get back to the planet safely. But I think we're going to go 
in search of a Mon encounter here. Where be our target? There's our target. All right. Whoop. Come on now. We got 42 minutes until our burn. Where's the... There's... There is Kerbin. Can we see... Oh, holy crap! Right there is the Mon, guys. And then we got to hope we don't crash into it. I don't know. I don't know if that's an option... You know, if, if that's something that is possibly going to happen or not. But there's the Mun. Holy crap. Third recording session for me. And uh, there's the Mun. All right. Don't go too fast there, Scooty. Five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. All right. Slow down there. Holy moly. I am freaking out right now, guys. There's the mun. Mission to the mun. Loving it. All right, we got to get this stuff back up. We've got 33 seconds. Holy smokes. Jebediah, yeah, dude. That's the freaking mun. You see that? Yeah, dude. Freaking A. Woo. All right. Let's try not to blow everybody up here. We're on target. And we're just going to have to throttle up when the time comes. So three, two, one. Boom, baby. Come on. And stay on target. Oh, crap. Oh, we're not on target. Hopefully, we're in some kind of an orbit of the Mun right now. Our Mun periapsis. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and kill that guy. I have no idea what makes it so you can or cannot land on the Mun. The difference here is uh, the ship that I'm flying right now, I did not put a transmitter on. So let's get a crew report and see what we say. You look down at the cold gray surface. It looks really beat up with craters. 15 science. Keep that. Let's try and do an EVA. EVA report. 24. You've recorded your observations. Let's board. Let's observe this mystery goo. The goo seems to be less dense here. 30 science. Oh my gosh, guys. This is amazing. We're getting lots and lots of science. The materials bay. The high radiation environment caused a few of the samples to glow. It looks like it would be fun to paint the rocket with. 75 science. Can I just say that that just said 75 science? All right. Now, can we get back out of orbit from the moon and back to the planet that is the question of the hour 